All right, hey YouTube, Major Seducer here, back again with another video. Um, this time, I'm going to be talking about um, something more along the lines of my looks theory um, video that I made um, about you know four or five weeks ago. I, I cannot remember how many weeks ago it's been, <clears throat> but I just want to talk about a. Uh, sexual dimorphism again today because I actually I really think this is a uh, underrated aspect of female attraction towards men I um because these things are are natural and normally we don't pick up on these uh, or at least as men when men look at other men and of course unless they're gay they, they they don't tend to realize the these traits that are in a man's face. Okay, <laughs> let me rephrase that beginning part. If if you could recognize these traits, you are not in turn gay. But um, I feel like an average straight male will not recognize it as much as an average gay male. Okay. But um, <laughs> alright. This this is somewhat of a meme right here. Look. This, this is a fucking meme. Alright, so, don't fucking worry about any of this bullshit, but, um, sexual dimorphism is, is something that is very common, of course, it happens in men and women, of course, and it is things like no size, uh, where we store fats, uh, bone mass and in all of these things so excluding I, I don't know what an mk2 slayer even is this guy looks too damn brutish like uh, he he's this would be a, a very highly if this male were to be a real fucking man okay which he probably isn't um <laughs> he, he would be a very sexually dimorphic man I mean uh looking at his chin broadness as you can see um the more the more you you scroll down they they sort of feminize the man more and more the original chart goes so more like something from here to here this is all just kind of added on but um as you can see, um, and there, there is actually, it is a, a meme, of course. It's more of an exaggeration, but um, this is correct. I mean, all of this stuff is um, <clears throat> sexually uh, dimorphic, okay? And um, so, as you can see, you know, you see uh, darker eyebrows. The brow ridge itself is uh, bigger. And he seems to actually have a wider face and skull. And I'm, I'm telling you, this is hyper-exaggerated. There's no such thing as this big of a difference. Maybe between this guy and somebody who even possibly looks like this, there, there doesn't really tend to be that much of a, a, a difference between faces like that. But, uh... Uh, but... You know, you ever wonder why women tend to swoon over a guy like Jason Momoa? Which, if I were to personally look at him, of course, <laughs> this looks to be a bad photo. Alright, if I were to look at Jason Momoa, I don't think he's that good looking. And, and that's just, that's me. You know, I don't see it. But you want to know why, the, the reason that women find this man attractive is for a few different reasons and and you could only really a trained eye uh, knowledgeable to these subjects could figure this out if you're not a fucking and i don't even think women understand this themselves women don't understand their their biological nature they do uh, as they are you know they they do what feels natural to them okay so uh another thing is uh, women, okay, there's a lot of women haters um, in, in communities, quote-unquote incel communities, 
And I honestly think that bullshit needs to stop. You can't really hate a woman for her biological uh, hardwiring, her her genetic hardwiring. It's just it, she is who she is, and she's not. She doesn't fucking dislike you um, just because you're ugly. The reason that she fucking dislikes you and you're ugly is because her genetics and and her her reproductive system uh, absolutely repulses you. It does not want to mate with somebody uh, like uh, the the quote unquote beta male. You know she doesn't want that. But the reason why Jason Momoa would be considered attractive is, as you can see, one scarring and that that scar is fucking kick ass i'm gonna be honest that scar is kick ass it adds to his already perceived masculinity not only that but jason moa is 6'4 and he is a very muscular man both very sexually dimorphic and you could tell from his body shape you see the you see the shoulder to to waist ratio it means his his bone structure underneath, okay, his his body bone structure was actually exposed to a very considerable amount of testosterone within his while he was in the womb with his mother, you know, while he's in his mom's stomach or whatever. So you know, a lot of this is genetic. A lot of this is not changeable, um, but. Another thing is, is, as you can see, he has a nice brow ridge, narrow eyes, muscular body, a very sexually dimorphic man. And so they would, a lot of women, of course not all, would consider Jason Momoa to be fucking stupid attractive, okay? Men, not so much, because he's not beautiful, he's attractive, and he, his sexual dimorphism makes him uh, desirable to women. Uh, let's go ahead and exclude the fact that he's rich and famous and he's a fucking movie star, of course. But on the surface level, um, you know, I've I've seen men with, I've seen women with men like this all the time. It, it's just it, it's all all too common. And uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so. And then you want to look at this. Uh, facial width is pretty fucking huge. Pretty huge on a man. Um, very sexually dimorphic. Women tend to have uh, more narrower faces on average. They tend to have bigger eyes. And they tend to have um, more upturned eyebrows like this. You see this? It's uh, I'd say I have more. It, it's funny because my, my eyebrows are more downturned than this, I believe. Just a little bit more. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, but women tend to have uh, just bigger eyes, smaller jaws, um, more plump lips. Uh, their cheeks tend to, uh, um, I'd say they're, they're, the way that they hold fat within their faces tends to be, uh, they, they tend to have a lot less fat in their faces and that's just because of their their hormones actually um women tend to store fat more in their uh, legs thighs and lower stomach whereas men will hold all their fa all their fat within their stomach um, chest and face you know fucking god made it hard mode so if you're a high testosterone male, well, um, not that. If you're more of a higher body weight man, then it's going to be harder to attract a mate or somebody of the opposite sex than it would be for a higher body fat female. Of course, ex and, and I'm going to go ahead and exclude the fact that men, on average, have more testosterone, which means that they will, that their standards tend to be lower for what they'll fucking smash, you know? Like, a lot of men I know, they don't give a fuck about their face, or, not that I know personally, but 
I know that if a woman has good enough titties, ass, and, and, a, and a nice, nice enough body, she will be good enough for that man to have sex with, and even marry if that's his best choice. It, the the face doesn't really even matter, and it's it's funny. It really is funny. I don't. I I I can understand. Um, female attraction very well I can understand why and and how all this shit works but I can't understand why a man uh, be, how, how a man can uh, you know settle for an ugly bitch with a nice body you know I couldn't I couldn't that's just me I think it's just because of all the time that I've spent researching this bullshit or whatever but uh you know, whatever. Alright, but look, skull size, very sexually dimorphic, sort of overlooked. And I will say that as your your face gets narrower, for a, a man, facial narrowing more along, it more means the death of him being able to be that sexually uh, dimorphic man like the Jason Momoa or the Rock types and they will have to be more along the lines of a, a Zac Efron or you know one of those pretty boys that I'd say younger girls tend to go for more than older women you know I don't know why it is oh and another thing I'm not gonna go ahead and, and look up is women when they're on their period will actually pursue more uh, more sexually dimorphic men such as Jason Momoa and The Rock as opposed to when they're off the period where they may you know just as well prefer a Zac Efron type so I don't know why that is you know I'm not a fucking expert on on women's mental nobody's an expert on, on how women think not even women themselves understand how they think it's funny it really is funny um, but <clears throat> yeah like average uh, width for men is 145. Average is for 140 for women. But another thing that's really hard, okay, another thing that's really hard to measure about this is is the fact that men tend to be bigger in general. They tend to be um, taller. They tend to be wider, uh, body wise. And you would think that the head would follow, right? You know, you got the bigger frame and everything, so uh, skull size and everything like that would uh, would surely follow, correct? I don't think so as much. Um, I feel like it, it definitely helps it. It 100% helps it. But I feel like just looking at men in day-to-day -day life, I uh, or not like that, of course, but... Uh, you know, you look at men and you look at women in day to day life, and I feel like per inch, men actually have more narrow faces than women, and women, um, you know, actually have wider faces for every single inch, and they also have, you know, stuff like bigger eyes and everything like that, so I actually don't know all that much about how, how it works, because that has to be something either uh, genetic or, or something that's you know you're pre uh, you're exposed to in the womb stuff like that but I wouldn't know honestly but yeah so basically to summarize this video up if you ever thought you know you ever thought to yourself why the fuck is this woman with this dude he's not even that good looking you know he doesn't have money or whatever of course, let's exclude that out for this video just for, uh, you know, educational purposes. Um, this is why, okay? Because the sexual dimorphism, it is, it, it is called to their fertility, okay? Just like how women have wider hips than others, and, um, you know, as women will mature and go through puberty, they'll get, you know, wider hips, and men will get wider shoulders. It is to, to cue signals to the opposite sex that they are sexually mature, and that is what sexual dimorphism is. 
and to not be that sexually dimorphic I mean if you're not you better be damn good looking if you ever want to make up for it and in my personal opinion and a lot of people's opinions okay the best combination if, if when you're talking about attracting a female the the best combination to have would be to have very masculine features you know like uh, the quote unquote hunter eyes and stuff like that with a mix of pretty boy features so like lips and, and stuff like that so but of course everything I said uh, may be debunked with future research and everything like that and if anybody has anything to say of course opposing to all this information that I have uh, displayed for you guys today um, feel free to either message me or I think I will end up linking my discord down below and um, you know of course feel free to engage in a little bit of healthy debates although I'm not gonna fucking argue with you people I would love to hear your guys' opinions because this is um, you know this is very inf in interesting information to me but yeah that's that's gonna have to be all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys have learned something new today and um you know i'll see y'all in the next one like comment subscribe whatever blah 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 you know the deal okay and uh peace out boys